Again, I'd like to thank both the Heritage Committee, chaired by Ian Scott, and the no for nominating me to be inducted into the Brandon Golf Club's Hall of Fame, and President Greg Allworth and the Board of Directors for approving <coughs> this nomination. Also, as I mentioned earlier this afternoon, my induction into the Hall of Fame is the culmination <clears throat> of how I look upon being a, a long, active, enjoyable membership here at the club, while at the same time being able to contribute to the success of the club. I like seeing our members continuing to volunteer for the board, committees, and various positions to assist in the club's progressive improvement. It is also encouraging to see the high rate of participation of the members in the events planned by the volunteers. Looking at the golf course itself, <coughs> we have seen changes and improvements in the course at various times in the past. But last year, the extensive renovations, including uh, extensive renovations on the course, including the major track redesigns, relocations, and the new sand were obviously the most successful renovations yet. This year, I think the course was in the best condition it has ever been in over a full season. Turning to my background, I was born and raised in Hamilton, where I played at the Glendale Golf and Country Club. I joined Brampton Golf Club in 1962 when the new 18-hole location <clears throat> opened. I served on the board from 1968 to 1976, serving as president in 1973. In those early years, we were heavily involved in developing practices, procedures, and budgets for the new expanded club at its new location. My wife, Margaret, and I were married in 1959. Margaret, a graduation from Ontario College of Art, became an international respected fiber artist, with works being hung in galleries in Canada, United States, and Japan, and elsewhere. We had two children, Debbie and David, who became junior members, but only by occasionally now, unexpectedly, Mark died of cancer in 2008. Turning to my golfing in quotation marks career, <laughs> as noted on the Hall of Fame storyboard, my first meaningful win came in 1949 when my partner and I won the Ontario Golf Association's Junior Best Ball Championship. After high school graduation, I enrolled in commerce at Queen's University, where I was a member of the golf team for three years, winning the individual championship twice in the Ontario-Quebec Intercollegiate Team Championships. But our team never was able to win. I graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce degree in 1956. In, also in 1956, I entered the Ontario Amateur Golf Tournament for the, for the first time. I finished runner-up, losing to Jack Lowry in the final after defeating the defending champion, Jerry McGee, in the semifinal. Following that 1956 runner-up finish, I again entered the championship in 1957, which this time I was successful in winning. Five of my seven matches went to the 18th hole, including quarter and semifinal wins over Gary Cowan and Nick Westlock, and over Bill Moran in the final. As many as you know, I received two tremendous breaks 
when both Cowan and Westlock, most unexpectedly, hit their drives out of bounds on the 18th hole. <coughs> this championship win was the obvious high point of my golfing career. In 1971, I was a member of the Brampton team that won the Ontario Golf <coughs> Association's George S. Lyons Team Championship. Actually, this was a gratifying win because back then, like in 1971, we had been having trouble putting together a strong team, even though we had a lot of good players for various reasons. Finally, in 1971, we had a team of more experienced tournament players, Bob Potashnik, Mike Pullen, George Schramm, and myself, and we were able to win. In 1987, I was a member of another successful team, the Ontario Senior Men's Golf Team. We won the Canadian Interprovincial Senior Team Championship that year. I also competed in international play in the UK, USA, and Canada as a member of the Canadian Seniors Association team from 1988 to 1992. As noted on the storyboard at Brampton, I won the club championship four times and the senior club championship twice. I continue to enjoy playing and associating with my friends here at the club. We have a wonderful, uh, friendly club with a great future ahead of it. Again, I'd like to thank everyone connected with my induction into the Hall of Fame. Thank you.